Expedited Takion Cycle Initiation Torin Lightseed Activation Part 2 Opening the Diamond Door Step 1 Sit or lie down in a comfortable position and slow natural breathing rhythm to about half speed, breathing gently for a few moments with your eyes closed. Creating the Torin Control Capsule Keeping your eyes closed, focus your mental attention loosely upon a point between your eyebrows, resting your attention lightly upon the outer surface of the skin. Hold mental attention on this point in a relaxed, easy inner focus, and breathe slowly and gently for a few moments. As you breathe gently, eyes closed, with the tension focused loosely upon the point between your eyebrows, Imagine now that a tiny sphere of dark silver light begins to form at this focus point. Continue breathing gently and observe or intend that the tiny silver sphere between your eyebrows appears to grow a bit larger with each gently exhale breath until the silver sphere expands to about half inch in diameter. Continue breathing gently, eyes closed, and move your focus of attention from observing the outside of the half-inch silver sphere between your eyebrows to a point of mental focus placed at the center point inside of the half-inch silver sphere. As you breathe gently, imagine that you can feel a part of your consciousness as a tiny point of white light stationed at the center point inside of the half-inch silver sphere between the eyebrows. Observe or intend that you can feel the sense of the silver sphere around you, as if your consciousness is simultaneously perceiving from two different perspectives. A two-way mental focus, one aspect of consciousness experiencing from its usual focus within the embodied mind, the other aspect of consciousness experiencing detectable sensation from its embodiment as the tiny point of white light with the half-inch silver sphere around it. Continue gentle breathing and begin to concentrate a bit more of your two-way mental focus into the tiny point of white light within the half-inch silver sphere between the eyebrows. Observe or intend that as you apply more concentration of mental focus into the tiny point of white light, that this point of white light expands until it forms a one-inch white light sphere that remains fixed at the center point, suspended in the middle of the silver sphere between the eyebrows. Observe that as the inner point of, of white light expands, it causes the outer half-inch silver sphere around it to also expand outward. When the inner white light sphere reaches its full expansion to one inch diameter, the outer silver sphere continues expanding until it reaches a diameter of two inches. Together, the outer 2-inch silver sphere with the 1-inch white light sphere suspended at its center form the Torin Light Seed Control Capsule. Through the Torin Light Seed Control Capsule, you may begin to consciously access and interact and co-create with your personal core identity of first creation that is embodied within the conscious energy structure of your personal Torin first the core first light seed, first light seed from which the four domains and many inherent light cells and space-time vectors of your multidimensional living light body and eternal identity were originally born. Energizing the Torin Control Capsule Step 7 Inhale slowly and gently upward from the azuria at the base of the thymus and hold inhale at the pineal gland in the center of the brain. Observe or intend that as you inhale and hold, you can also feel the sense of the inhale hold breath occurring simultaneously within the one inch white light sphere within the two inch silver sphere between the eyebrows. 
the white light sphere does not expand or contract from its fixed one inch diameter size. Exhale slowly and gently downward from the pineal to the azure and observe or intend that the exhale breath simultaneously releases within the one inch white light sphere, causing the white light sphere to release a gentle burst of pale pastel heliotallic rainbow rays moving outward from the white light sphere into the space around it, but remaining within the boundary of the two inch silver sphere. Again, the white light sphere does not expand or contract from its fixed one inch diameter size. Hold breath at the bottom of the exhale for a moment, lungs empty, allowing the burst of outgoing rainbow rays to complete their release from the white light sphere. Again, inhale gently upward from the azura to the pineal and hold. Filling the inhale hold breath simultaneously within the one inch white light sphere at the center of the silver sphere between the eyebrows. Begin a very slow exhale breath downward from pineal to azuri and again feel the exhale breath simultaneously release within the one inch white light sphere and observe the white light sphere release another gentle radiant heliotelic burst of pastel rainbow rays within the boundary of the silver sphere of the out eyebrows. Hold at the bottom of the exhale, mental attention upon the interior of the silver sphere. Before taking the next inhale breath, observe or intend that the heliotelic burst released from the last exhale has caused the outer two inch silver sphere to expand to about three inch diameter, while the size of the inner one inch white sphere at the center does not change. Begin a gentle natural inhale exhale breathing rhythm and observe or intend that on each inhale the outer now three inch silver sphere between the eyebrows contracts to one inch diameter, forming a thin silver skin membrane around the inner one inch white light sphere, which does not contract or change size. Observe or intend that upon each natural exhale the contracted outer silver sphere skin expands back outward to again become the outer three inch silver sphere surrounding the inner one inch white sphere. While breathing a natural inhale exhale rhythm for a few moments, feel the sensation of inhale contraction, exhale expansion of the outer silver sphere from the point of perception of the inner white light sphere. Listen for the inner sound of a gentle, muted rustle akin to the outer sound of plastic wrap or cling film being crumpled and uncrumpled as the three inch silver sphere between the eyebrows contracts inward on inhale, crumpling sound to form the silver skin then expands outward inflating upon exhale, uncrumpling sound. Harmonic Amplification of the Torn Control Capsule, Step 13 With attention still applied and a two-way mental focus, awareness simultaneously experiencing from with the physical body and from within the inner one-inch white light sphere inside of the three-inch silver sphere between the eyebrows, engage a slow, gentle twelve-breath round of twelve inhale contract, exhale expand breaths contracting and expanding the outer silver sphere to amplify the heliotelic rainbow ray harmonics contained within the silver sphere of the Torin control capsule. Contract to one inch silver skin and expand to three inch outer silver sphere as the inner one inch white light sphere does not change size or position. Begin the 12th round with the first inhale contraction to silver skin membrane around inner one inch white light sphere and end with the twelfth exhale expansion of the outer three inch silver sphere. Remember to listen for the inner sound of a gentle muted rustle as the silver sphere contracts and expands. If you do not get any sense of this inner sound, then imagine as closely as you can the outer sound of plastic wrap, cling film, crumpling and uncrumpling 
As you inhale, contract, and exhale, expand the silver sphere between the eyebrows. After completing the twelfth breath round, return to gentle natural breathing rhythm for a few moments, with mental attention loosely focused primarily within the inner white light sphere of the expanded 3-inch silver sphere torn control capsule between the eyebrows. Utilizing the inner viewing screen for torn navigation. Step 14. While breathing in natural rhythm, move the focus of mental attention from its position within the inner white light sphere of the torn control capsule between the eyebrows, downward into a single focus point within the azure at thymus base. Observe or intend, if you cannot yet see it, that in the center of the azure, there exists a minute point of dimly glowing pale pink light. Imagine now that you can take an inner photograph of this minute structure in the Azura center point simply by intending so, and that you can move the photographic image onto your inner viewing screen on the inside of your skull at the forehead. Intend an inner snapshot of the dimly glowing pale pink light point at the Azura to move upward to your inner viewing screen. Then give the mental command, magnify to viewing size, and move your single focus point upward from the Azura to the viewing screen on the inside of your forehead. Continue breathing gently in natural rhythm. Keeping eyes closed, hold a loose single focus point on the center of your inner viewing screen and observe or intend that you can now see in the center of your viewing screen a magnified snapshot image of the dimly glowing pale pink light point. The actual pale pink light point and its inherent structures still remain in their position within the center point of the azure. Continue natural gentle breathing rhythm and observe or intend that the magnified snapshot image depicted upon your viewing screen reveals that the pale pink light point actually holds a complex compound spherical energy structure within a pale pink cloud-like protective field of translucent pale milky pink cryogelasic cold gaseous crystal gel. Using mental intention, imagine now that the pale pink cloud layers surrounding the inner spherical structure temporarily blinks off, revealing to view the next layer beneath it. As the pale pink cloud disappears, observe now that a pale milky yellow cryogelisic cloud layer appears, still masking the contents of the spherical structure within. Again, use mental intention to blink off the pale yellow cloud layer and observe that there is one final pale milky sky blue cryogelisic cloud layer surrounding the spherical form within. Blink off the pale blue cloud layer. Continue gentle natural breathing rhythm while maintaining a single focus point on the magnified snapshot image at the center of your viewing screen on the inside of your skull at the forehead. Observe that the spherical complex energy structure that was previously shrouded within the three cryogelisic pale pink yellow blue milky cloud layers is now slowly revealing itself. Study the image on your viewing screen slowly with loose focus of attention. The image may take a few moments to come into view and may blink in and out in parts at first before stabilizing into clarity. If on first attempt no image emerges, slow your natural breathing rhythm by about half speed then slowly and loosely observe your viewing screen again. If on the second attempt still no image emerges, slow your breathing rhythm again by half speed and again observe 
If on third attempt still no image appears, try to see feel the image without actually seeing an inner visual light. If you can see feel the image but not visually see it, it means that your torn is presently in an active stage of Kilanta spark generation and is vibrating and oscillating at a frequency too high for inner visual light translation. If on the third attempt you cannot see, feel, or visually see the spherical image on your inner viewing screen, let this be okay and know that the image is there. And that with practice and using your inner viewing screen, you will eventually develop the abilities to visually see and see, feel with inner higher sensory perception, HSP. Activating Christiac Talia encryption and restoring the Ka for natural key activation. Step 17a Talia encryption A. The Tauranic capsule and enospheres. Continue breathing at the register rhythm, the rhythm in which the image appears most stable, clear, or reachable, and observe or intend, if no image is sensed that the outermost spherical structure appears as a transparent heliotelic sphere looking very much like a large three-dimensional soap bubble with most rainbow sl slick colors moving across its surface. This energy structure is the Torinic capsule surrounding the Torin light seed. Move your attention to observe inside of the Torinic capsule large soap bubble sphere and continue breathing at register rhythm. Observing that there are a set of four equally sized small soap bubble spheres that are nested within the large soap bubble outer sphere. Each of the four small soap bubble particle spheres are called an ena which is the tonal resonant combined core encryption tone that all four units emit during tachyon assembly. The four small soap bubble spheres that form the internal structure of the Torin light seed are the 3 plus 1 first particle backflow return quark sparks produced through the first phasing of the triad which were called into activation in the planetary core during Torin Activation Part 1, Tenefer, February 2006. Observe or intend that three of the four small soap bubble particle enospheres are linked together in a triveca living light unit configuration, with one etheric particle, the ena A, at top, and two atomic particle enospheres at bottom. Together, the first three particle, ena, small soap bubble spheres in Triveca configuration that are collectively referred to as the Tre Inae of the Akasha God Seed fill the space within the large soap bubble sphere, Torinic capsule, that encases them to form the Torin First Living Light Seed. Step 17b, Talia Encryption B, the Particle and the Inaka. Continue to observe or intend the internal structure of the snapshot image of the torrent positioned at the center of your viewing screen. Focus upon the internal central area of the outer large soap bubble sphere torrent capsule and notice that the remaining one of the inner four small soap bubble enospheres occupies the innermost center point position the first creation point within the outer large soap bubble sphere. The fourth particle unit of the torn was formed as the fourth etheric backflow return spark from the fourth phase of the triad caused the Traeinae three particle triveca cluster of the torn to generate the at an atmic spark which then combined with the fourth etheric backflow return spark to form the fourth ena the first catheric unit, etheric plus atomic. 
This fourth Eni unit central small soap bubble sphere is the dynamic core of the Tauran living light seed through which perpetual motion, eternal living light radiation, and the quarks and subatomic particles that form the particle wave building blocks of conscious living manifest matter are continually formed. When referred to with its inherent contents, the fourth Enoch etheric unit is called the particate. The outermost energy sphere layer of the central etheric particle is called the Enoch. The name Enoch refers to the tonal vibration signature of the Ka, thermogelesic conscious substance of which the outer layer of the particle, Enoch sphere, is composed. The thermogelesic hot gas vapor gel, Enaka, outer layer of the particle, is the catalyst of eternal light and life. The Enaka layer allows for quantum spark replication within the particle, through which the first Kamakeo chemical reactions are continually enacted within the Tauran light sea, perpetually giving birth to the consciousness vehicle of living light radiation. Observe the magnified snapshot image of the Tauran light seed position at the center of your inner viewing screen. Focus upon the internal central area of the Tauranic capsule outer large soap bubble sphere and locate the innermost central fourth small soap bubble particle Enaka sphere. Continue breathing at register rhythm and for a few moments focus upon gently directing each exhale breath directly into the center first creation point within the core of the particle in preparation for restoring the Enaka thermogelesic outer field of the particle. Step 17C Talia Encryption C Jalizic states, Yoke of Life, and Edama, Eterna, Son. The chemical reactions of eternal light life that take place within the particle of the Tauran light seed occur through interactions that take place between the 15 crystalline Jalizic radiation states that exist in spherical layers within and around the particle. Together these 15 radiation layers which form within the Tauran light seed through the process inherent to the particle are referred to as the ovaum or ovum egg of living light. The innermost nine radiation layers contained within the particle are referred to as the iyuka or yoke of eternal life. The nine crystalline jalesic radiation layers contained within the particle which include the outer layer inaka and eight outer layers together form three internal regions of significance within the particle that collectively represent the yoke, iyuka, from which the egg, ovaum, of eternal living light forms within the Tauran living light seed. The three internal regions of the particle that comprise the yoke are of immediate importance to part two activation of the Tauran. Region 1, Outer Particle, Ketha, the Inaka Outer Surface, or Outer Skin, of the Particle composed of the Ka thermogelesic field of hot glowing Ketha vapor gas gel, often called Enoch. The Maja Outer Mantle of the Particle composed of the Ma magnogelesic field of warm moist liquid vapor gas gel, often called the Ma'a, Maja Ma, or magma. The Ta'ur outer core of the particle composed of the Ta hydrogelesic field of warm dry liquid vapor gas gel often called the Ta'ur or Jada or the Tower of God. Region 2 middle particle Itha the Jada middle surface or middle skin of the particle composed of the Jada ectogelesic field of cool dry semi-liquid vapor gas gel often called the Jada um of Ida um or Garden of Eden. 
The Eda middle mantle of the particle composed of the Eda crystallizic field of cool semi-solid silica gas gel, often called the Eda un or Eden. The Ta or middle core of the particle composed of the Tau cryogelizic field of cold frozen solid silica ice crystal gas gel, often called the Tor within the Tower of God. Region 3 inner particle Atma, the Jaffa inner surface or inner skin of the particle composed of a Jaffa neurogelizic field of cold liquid vapor gas gel, often called the Guff hollow body or hall of souls. The Adama inner mantle of the particle composed of the Adama protogelizic field of cold, burning, glowing, dry eta or vapor gas gel, often called the flame of Adama, Adamic flame of life, eternal flame, Adama son of Jada or Adam son of God. The Nada or inner core of the particle composed of the Nada or carbogelizic field of compressed cold frozen dense solid eta or vapor compressed carbon crystal diamond often called the door of Adama the diamond door of first creation points or the atomic door of the nine crystalline gelizic radiation layers that form the three internal regions of the particle yoke the most immediately important thing to remember is the tonal vibration sequence of their combined encryption. This composite tonal encryption signature is called the Adama Ita Erna song, or Song of the Adama Eternal Flame. Use of this tonal signature in both mental sound generates D2, D2 core elemental light field and audible sound which generates D1 core atomic ethos etheric subatomic light field either spoken as a co-creative with God source commandment as follows or sung an appropriate melody to be given at a later time will initiate activation of the full set of 1728 harmonic keys of Inaka before toning the commandment of the song of the Adama eternal flame Briefly review the following summary of the particle yoke tones as follows. Summary of the particle yoke tones, 17c. The thermal gelizic inaka outer surface is called inak. The magno gelizic maja outer mantle is called maa or majama or magma. The hydro gelizic taura outer core is called taura or Jada or Tower of God. The ecto Jada middle surface is called Jada Un or Ida Un or Garden of Eden. The crystal Jalizic Ida middle mantle is Ida Un or Eden. The cryo Jalizic Taor middle core is called the Tor within the Tower of God. The neuro Jalizic Jaffa inner surface is called the guff hollow body or hall of souls. The protogelizic Adama inner mantle is called the flame of Adama, Adamic flame of life, eternal flame, Adama son of Jada or Adam son of God. The carbogelizic Nada or inner core is called compressed carbon crystal diamond, door of Adama, the diamond door of first creation point or the atomic door. Prepare for toning the commandment of the song of the Edama eternal flame. Focus your mental attention on your viewing screen and locate the innermost central fourth small soap bubble, particle sphere. Observe the particle loosely in a relaxed manner and notice or intend that you can vaguely see a faint pale silver outline image of eight concentric spheres of descending size nested within each other within the night sphere particle inaka outer layer. Hold relaxed mental attention upon this image for a moment, then open your eyes to read the Song of Adama, 
Eternal Flame Commandment Song of the Edama Eternal Flame Commandment Mentally command the, this entire sequence three times, mentally. Inaka Maja Tao Iyuka Keta Jada Ida Tao Iyuka Eta Jafa Edama Nada Or Ita Erna Atman Inaka Maja Tao Yuka Keta Jada Ida Tao Iyuka Eta Jafa Edama Nada Or Ita Erna Atma Inaka Maja Tao Iyuka Keta Jada Ida Tao Iyuka Eta Jafa Edama Nada Or Ita Erna Atma And now audibly command the entire st- sequence three times the same one. Inaka Maja Tao Yuka Keta Jada Ida Tao Iyuka Eta Jafa Edama Nada O Ita Erna Atma Inaka Maja Tao Iyuka Keta Jada Ida Tao Iyuka Eta Jafa Edama Nada O Ita Erna Atma Inaka Maja Tao Yuka Keta Jada Ida Tao Yuka Eta Jafa Edama Nada O Ita Erna Atma And then audibly command the closing sequence three times Iyuka Ita Erna Edama Nada O Iyuka Ita Erna Edama Nada O Iyuka Ita Erna Edama Nada O When the commandment of the Edama Eterna song is complete, close your eyes again and breathe gently at natural rhythm, loosely observing the Partiki with its faint pale silver outline image of eight concentric spheres nested within the Partiki Inaka. You will call up this image as the starting image on your inner viewing screen using the mental command Inaka Edama upon initiating step 18. Open your eyes and take a minimum 15 minute break before proceeding to step 18. Break can last up to, but not more than 12 hours if desired, resuming with step 18 to complete activation of the Torin part two.